I'm a learning support teacher, and here at VAIR, we have acceleration groups, and I go into the regular ed classrooms. Right now, I go into two fourth grade classrooms and two fifth grade classrooms, and I front load the content from their whole group wit and wisdom um, to the students that may be struggling based on our STAR assessments. So I'll front load vocabulary, I will front load background knowledge, I'll front load a preview skill to the students. And they do it the day, usually um, it may be the period before, sometimes it's a day before they work on that lesson. Today, we are going to do two things. First, we will find evidence of the character's beliefs. Next, we will explain how it guides their actions, okay? So first, we're gonna find evidence of the character's beliefs. We're gonna find evidence of what? Character's character's beliefs. Good, now we're gonna explain how it guides their actions. So next, we're gonna explain how it guides their actions. Good, so before we do that, we're gonna go over five of our key vocabulary words. Jason, I should see your book flat on the floor. Thank you. Okay, eyes on me. Hands on your lap, Jason. Good job. Excellent. Okay. When I say buttes, you say hill with a flat top. When I say buttes, you say? Hill with a flat top. Good. When I say buttes, you say? Hill with a flat top. When I say hill with a flat top, you say? Buttes. When I say buttes, you say? Hill with a flat top. When I say cunning, you say slyness or trickery. When I say cunning, you say? When I say cunning, you say? When I say slyness or trickery, you say? Good. When I say hill with a flat top, you say? Good job. When I say slyness or trickery, you say? Good job. When I say truce, you say? Agreement to stop fighting. When I say truce, you say? Agreement to stop fighting. When I say agreement to stop fighting, you say? Truth. When I say hill with a flat top, you say? Truth. When I say slyness or trickery, you say? Truth. When I say bugle, you say small trumpet. When I say bugle, you say? Small when I say bugle, you say? Small when I say small trumpet, you say? Truth. When I say hill with a flat top, you say? Truth. When I say slyness or trickery, you say? Truth. When I say agreement to stop fighting, you say? Good job. We use repetition. Um, actually, we use it school-wide, um, and we've been coached on it, so I've had a lot of practice with it. Um, I use, it's called when I say, you say, so I'll use that um, to front load the vocabulary for them. And you do find that then when they're in the text, if I stop and I say, okay, truce, what does truce mean? The kids will say, oh, an agreement to stop fighting. And then I'll also use it as a, like a cue when I'm going over objectives. So if I just stop and leave a word out, they'll fill it in. And it really is a way to just keep them engaged because when I stop, they know, and then they'll, they'll respond. 